Hey everyone, welcome to BW Family Farm. We are working on something that I messed up big on. Purity accident. But I do have to say that if anybody else would have done it, I'd have probably been pretty mad. So I'm pretty mad at myself. It don't look like it now, but a few months ago I was out here bush hogging and uh, just kind of topping off everything. Some of the weeds were growing up. Don't let somebody tell you rotational grazing is gonna fix your pastures just that quick. You're not gonna have weeds. We have definitely not found that to be true. Uh, we still have to clip weeds. The amount of weeds out here is definitely going down, but we still have them. But while I was out bush hogging, I totally forgot. That ain't good. That's not a good sign. I hit our above ground water line that we use to water our pigs over there so for the past uh i don't know there's another piece there so for the past three months or so andrew and the kids have had it and have been toting water by ibc tote that's just a square tote that's in one of those metal cages i actually had one here um used for something else but we ended up putting it in the bed of the truck and they've been toting water back and forth to to the pigs I actually have a friend of mine that's right down the road from me. He's got a business and he's got what they call a, a welder that will fuse two pieces of this plastic together. And they're actually on their way here in just a little bit. So I'm gonna get it prepared. That way they're not here very long. And we'll have water back over here to the pigs and not have to be toting it. So you can see there's a couple of pieces out of it. Look at that gnarliness right there what i gotta do is i gotta get back in here and find good pipe where it wouldn't have, wouldn't have cracked you gotta take that out so if everything from here down is good i'll probably cut it there and then also this end over here yeah yeah look where the bush hog got into that so we're gonna lose several feet of it but that's okay as long as we can get water over there close, get these fused back together, we'll definitely be back in business and no more toting all this around. So I'm gonna set the camera down and I'm gonna cut these two pieces out and have this ready. Well, you know it's hot and dry when you get weeds starting to wilt up this is what i've always grown up calling goat weed no good for nothing but we're definitely not growing no grass right now oh lord i pray for a rain been praying for a rain quite regular maybe not enough but the lord knows our needs he'll send us one when the time is right we just got to believe that uh we're going to be able to make it through this it's definitely testing my uh Oh, I don't know what, how you would say it, but it's testing my mind on, I don't even have enough hay right now to put me through the winter, let alone put me through the fall and the winter. If we have to start feeding hay early, it's it's really gonna put a bind on our, on our cattle. Um, it's probably our numbers, have to thin them down. So you're gonna quickly realize the theme of this video is water. We are so dry here right now, which is why we had to get that water line fixed that Ben accidentally hit. We forgave him, but let me tell you guys, me and Lane were super thankful it was not us that hit it. So this is another installment of everything's dried up and we're trying to get animals water. All right, once you do that too, uh, and this is a tip for you guys too. They told me at the store, if you ever buy a pump, like I'm fixing to tell you about, this is a pump, water pump. You can fill it with plain water to make sure it's gonna work. And then you can still return it if it doesn't. If you put anything, if you start trying to pump out of a pond or 
sewer or anything like that and you start and you see it's not working they will not take it back that's what they told me you can call the manufacturer but they will not accept it that was the store i was at but i would say for most stores just um be careful what you start pumping if you don't know if it works yet you gonna show me reading the instructions yeah i am men, men don't read the instructions <laughs> Look at pictures and try to figure out where parts go. There we go. Kinda. This is actually a non-submersible transfer pump. And what we are doing is we spent, I'm just gonna be upfront and honest, this this is not an affiliate or promotion or anything like that. I literally went and bought this at Harbor Freight and we love Harbor Freight. It is the place we get a lot of things because a lot of things we just need um spur of the moment we may not be going to use them forever if you're going to use stuff like for a long time it's it's like a drill or something you're investing in probably harbor freight's not the best choice but something like this we probably won't use it very much so i spent a hundred dollars bought this pump it's going to move like over 1500 gallons per hour we had a tiny one that would move like 300 gallons per hour um, those are not very expensive there either so that's an option for you but just to be honest with you guys, things are going dry around here. We have dry ponds, and um, so we've got to get some water to some animals. So that's what we're doing. We're pumping water from one pond to another and hoping this works out. And always need more water hoses. We're always out of water hoses because they get holes in them or whatever. So I don't know if y'all can see way back in that field, but that is Ben and Lane. I've been helping them today too. We are in the middle of hauling hay, moving hay around, getting it all situated for the winter. And so this needs to happen to get the water pumped over into the pond for our breeders. And so I'm gonna work on that. I'm, I'm gonna, Ben kind of got it working, showed me what to do, and I'm gonna go see if I can get it all hooked up. Found me a good helper. He came up here while he's waiting on Ben with another load of hay. Lane's gonna finish with the hoses. Um, one thing that you're gonna have to have if you're gonna run a pump like this is either a power source like electricity nearby, extension cords to get out to your water source that you're pumping out of, or some pumps will be powered off of a battery or things like that. I chose to get one that we could plug in because I knew my milk barn was right here, but I'm still gonna have to go scrounge up some extension cords. I got some more cords. Let's hope they reach. Ready to try? Yeah. Yeah, I need that other end. <laughs> it's a no-go. I gotta go get another one. Trip number 45 to get supplies. Hopefully. Finally got enough cord. We are going to plug this in and try it out. All right, let's go check the other pond and see if water's going in there. It's working. So you can see it's actually coming out with some good pressure. So that's literally just a $100 Harbor Freight pump. It's gonna solve this problem. Super excited about that. You can see this pond is completely dry and has been for a while now. Started out pretty small back when we originally dug it. We dug it as a little pond, really slash waller hole, a uh, place for the old spots to get cool. And, um, but they've just slowly made it bigger over the years. You can see I'm still down in it and, and I'm way out here. So it's, they've gotten it pretty good size over the years. It needs to be dug out, to be honest with you. That part back there needs to be deeper. It has been deeper, but they push mud off in it. But we have to know our limitations. And that's what I told Ben. It's just not in the cards right now. We just have our plate full. And so we're just putting water in a shallow pond. 
And I encourage you guys, if right now you have so much going on that you feel like you can, you're just like, here's the water and you're just like, you're just like getting a breath every once in a while. That's me sometimes, I'm like, I'm hanging on. I'm just getting me a breath before the water takes me back under. I mean, we have had a lot of things go on this year. Um, and in fact, we've we've lost an animal that's a pretty big part of our farm that Ben and I talked about, and we're gonna put in a different video. We're not, we don't wanna just address it at the end of this video, uh, but it's just another thing. I feel like the water's trying to take me under, but um, I have to know when I've took on too much. You can see uh, Miracle and her mama, Josie, I actually got them up and I had envisions of starting to milk again and milking them and making all the things for milk for our family. But we tried and tried and tried and I cannot get their calves to come up. Their calves are pretty wild because they haven't been handled. Little Hope that belongs to Miracle and then Josie's calf as well. And after about three attempts, I just told Ben a while ago, I said, you know what? Um, I just don't have time right now. I'm, I'm working on building the meat business and trying to do a good job of YouTube and be a good mom and be a good homeschool mom and all the things. And if I have to buy milk from the store right now, that's just the season we're in. And so I just wanna encourage you guys, if you're there and you just have too much going on and you need to give something up, put water in a shallow pond. Cause you know what? It's still water. The animals are not gonna care. Um, that's just what I'm telling myself. If I need to put water in a shallow pond and not spend time digging that pond out right now, that's what I'm gonna do because I'm gonna keep my sanity and make sure that I keep enjoying this farm life because that's what it's all about. So if you have to, you know, do some things right now that maybe aren't your like absolute preference of how to do something just perfectly, but you just need to get the job done, put the water in the shallow pond, it'll be okay. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for hanging out with me. Um, I'll probably stick a little clip here on the end of this video uh, tomorrow morning or something. We're gonna let this run a while because this is a big water hole. Show you how much that this filled up and how many hours. But I will see you guys later. I love you guys and appreciate you so very much. And thanks for watching and supporting our family. See you guys later. God bless. Look at that, Emily. That is a wonderful sight. Yeah, it is. So it filled up overnight, and then we actually finally got a bit of a rain. Not a lot, but we'll take whatever we can get. So remember I said three attempts and I couldn't get Hope up, so I'm letting Miracle back out. You're gonna see the reunion. They've been apart for like two days. I've milked Miracle in that time, and um, yeah. I'm gonna try again in October because we have to work out some more steers in October. I'll give it a try then. Miracle's been milked, but I know Hope has got to be hungry for milk. She's old enough to be weaned, but I'm not ready to, so um, she's taking all. Oh, I think Hope heard her. She's heading this way. Let's see if I can get out ahead of her. Right back in this pasture is where where we revived Miracle back to life. Almost right in this very spot. There they are, back together. And I wasn't even getting Hope up to try to wean her. I was just getting her up so I could milk Miracle some mm -hmm. and feed Hope some supplemental grains and nutrition and things when I would milk Miracle. Um, that's about the only time we feed them is on my milk cows get a little grain and then their calves get a little grain for being put up at night. So she was actually gonna get a treat, but Hope won this round. She's going to be a crazy one, I can tell you. You're going to see more hope in the future.